Hi there, this is Tom from Undermount AC. Um, I just wanted to discuss some of the options. Uh, we tend to get a lot of questions related to uh, condenser sizing, and then we also get a lot of questions in relation to evaporator sizing. Um, so I just wanted to address a couple of those. So this one here in front of me is a 109 condenser. And as you can see, it has its own risers. And uh, it's intended to be mounted horizontal or on a 45 degree angle. And you can see it's a very robust, heavy duty condenser. There's no uh, concerns about rocks or water or anything like that. It's IP68 rated. Um, you can do any sort of river crossing or any sort of standard automotive, um, standard automotive work with it that you'd like. The other option is the vertical mounted, which is our 105 condenser, and it's intended to mount off these brackets right here, and it's all stainless steel, heavy duty, just like the 109. Um, just it's made out of stainless steel, features the same IP68 rated fans. Uh, the ports are on the bottom here, while the 109 ports are right here. Just as an example of how these would be typically mounted, this are 109, so the fans would be pointed down. This would be the frame rail of your van. This is a set of our uh, BS30 144 uh, inch fan, and the brackets would fit like so, with a frame rail going in between. And then the other side, and then these would sit on the passenger side next to the exhaust, uh, totally depending on where you actually have the room, if you have tanks or anything else. Um, you can slide this down and position it on the frame rail wherever you like. These are our two evaporator options, uh, the left one being our 916 evaporator, and then this being our 981 evaporator option. And you can kind of see the size difference between the two. So they both feature a seven speed brushless blower. It's a SPAL blower made in Italy. Um, they're both robust, heavy duty designs. As you can see, the evaporator coil on the 916, it has a significantly greater surface area. And we recommend these in high humidity situations, which is why it has dual drain ports. And there's a T fitting that we provide that's included. Um, while this one has a single uh, central drain port, you can see a copper tube sticking out right there. Uh, both of these evaporators work great with our compressor setup, um, but we do recommend this in high humidity situation j just because of the surface area offered. Um, these, the 981s, are available with a heat option. Um, and the ports would come out right here for the hydronic heat option. And these are two and a half inch ducts, uh, standard AC automotive grade. They just slide clip right in. And then we do have a 3D print file that would allow you to adapt these as well. Uh, both of these have the same rectangular hole on the outside of these ports. Um, and we do have uh, the file that will let you cover these up into two, two and a half inch outlet as well if ducting is what you need in your specific build or application. This is our version two simplified compressor bracket. Uh, features a 12 or 24 volt compressor. Uh, our compressor controls, dryer back here, and underneath here you can see relays and fuses. There's 150 amp or 80 amp depending on voltage uh, self-resetting circuit breaker. All you need to do is supply 12 volt powered here and negative right here or good ground. And then you need to just hook up our harnesses which are provided. This is your evaporator harness, this is your condenser harness, and then this is your thermostat harness. The bracket is intended, there's a couple of notched holes back here. The bracket is intended to be mounted using 7 16 bolts. It's up to you to provide these bolts because of varying sizes. And it'll just hang off of your frame rail um, snugly. So the compressor controls are waterproof. They have a nice sealed cover 
uh, the compressor is IP68 rated, so nothing to worry about in terms of standard um, road debris, water, water crossings, that sort of thing. This is what's typically included with one of our installations. Um, you have all of your fittings. Uh, inside the fitting kit is also a little bottle of lubricant, which is the right lubricant to use with this specific compressor. You have a hose clamping kit, which includes clamps and self-tapping screws. This is your harness for your uh, thermostat. This plugs into the thermostat. This is the end that plugs into the compressor. You will have a um, water hose for, this, for the drain port. Along with a one-way check valve, this is called a duckbell valve. It's intended to be installed at the end of your drain tube. Uh, it prevents any air being sucked up through the tube by the evaporator. You have your 5 16 hose. There's 18 feet of that included in every kit. You have your uh, 13 30 seconds hose, which there's 16 feet included in every kit. And then you have your half-inch half hose, which there's 18 feet of that included with every kit as well. This is all high-quality Goodyear um, Galaxy SLE hose. Um, each kit also gets two packs of dielectric grease for all your connectors and your fittings. Um, this prevents water ingress and sort of any sort of corrosion. And then each kit will have a thermostat kit, which has a temperature sensor, which we recommend mounting um, at chest level or wherever you want the most appropriate reading. The only part of this temperature sensor that needs to be exposed is this tiny little black tip. Each kit includes a Pro Air thermostat. It has seven blower speeds, auto settings. Um, the thermostat harness plugs in right here and then the temp sensor plugs in right there. This front co cover simply pops off, and allows you to flush mount it using the four screw holes and then covering up the screw holes with its cover. That about sums it up. If you have any additional questions, concerns, please feel free to email, email us at sales at undermountac.com or send us a message on Facebook um, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.